happiest weekend of my life. I can't yeah. wait to tell everybody. We'll get the family together tonight. Oh, someone looks happy. Hello, hello, Peggy. <laughs> Oh, you finally made an honest man of him. Oh, you'll be next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come here, you sexy woman. Woo! Oh, that's great. You know, everyone's going to know. Come on. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. I have to do Stop it. Doing something no, I'm obliged. I'm obliged. Oh, you can't burn my back. Oh, you put me down, you stupid. Woohoo! Oh, the wonder has oh. returned. Oh. Where have you two been then? Oh, on a wild oh. weekend. Oh. Oh. Got married too, did you? Sarah will be pleased. Oh, what's all this you of then? Well, this is to celebrate a new life together after the inquest. <sighs> We're going to drink to a fresh start. Well, why don't we put the champagne on ice in them? And that way, we can drink it tonight in the Vic. But I wanted it to be just us. And that's exactly what it would be. We can have a nice quiet night in. At the Vic? Mm, that is, of course, if you still want me to move in. Oh, thank you. No, I do. There is one thing, though, darling. Grant. You leave him to me. Do you really think we're given enough time to get over this? You know what your problem is? Tell me. You spend too much time thinking and not enough packing. <laughs> we might be getting a visit from my boss. About the lab? Yeah. Well, what about it? He's got it now. No, that's the problem. I haven't. I burn it. Really? That's terrible. I didn't want Grant getting away with it. Your boss found out? No. I told her. What'd you do that for? Oh, to be honest about that. And now for the important business of the morning. Swings and slides and then school, yeah? See you later. See you. Right, mate? Yeah. Look, sorry, I'll, I'll catch you later. Morning. How are you? Well, I just about managed to survive the night without you. Right now, I'm gonna kiss you. We shouldn't. It's not gonna do any harm. Don't worry, I'm not gonna attack you on the street. You still not well then? No, I'm fine. You? My fingers are tingling again. Ah, teeth and troubles, you'll get through it. I'm not sure that I want to. It's wearing me down. I can't seem to concentrate on anything else. But it's such a relief to talk to you about it. <laughs> That's gate. You can't imagine what weight off my shoulders it is to talk to somebody about how bad things are. Um, Mark, I really need to go. Oh, right, fine. No, I just got something to do, that's all. Well, what about a drink tomorrow, then? Yeah, yeah, fine. All right, then. Tomorrow about 7 o'clock, yeah? OK. Tomorrow? Yeah, we're just going for a drink. Yeah, just for a drink. For your birthday. Well, you slapped off around here, did you? Well, that makes a change. What's wrong with you? That's a funny question, considering. Considering what? You can't go on like this forever. Like what? Gonna go and see Phil. I warned you not to get involved. You should never have given the letter. You told me to. I told you to give it to the police, not Beppe. Well, I did, and now he's suspended. Well, you know Beppe wouldn't hand over, didn't you? I suppose I did. All you've done is get yourself into more trouble. What? Is it a crime for a man to treasure his children? Look, all I want is for us to be a family again. Oh, really? Really? The Roman dynasty! Ah. And you've just dropped by to share this with me, have you? Actually, I came over to ask her to come and see Courtney with me. I'm worried she's going to forget who we are. She is a Roman, Simon, not a Mitchell. Yeah, well, I don't want anything to do with the Mitchells. Well, that's fine, but I don't want Courtney growing up to be a thug. And the Raymonds are better than the Mitchells, are they? Simon, please. Us Raymonds, well, we're good looking at least. I mean, even your mother, despite her faults, well, she's attractive in her own way. All right, you don't want to see Grant. What if I bring Courtney over to our place? It'll be a family celebration. Of what? Don't you worry about that. You'll be at the house at five. All right? Got to keep yourself busy. Yeah, well. I think Mum thinks I'm bad for business. It's not like she needs me in the Vic right now, not with all the new staff she's just taken on. Ah, she's just going easy on you. Besides, there's worse things you can do than look at Nina all day. Yeah, well, the last thing I want to do right now is look at another woman. Well, why don't you give me a hand in here today? Well, why? Why not? A bit like old times. Good do, I suppose. 
I'll be looking for a new job once Frank gets his hands on the Vic. He won't. He's got mum wrapped around his little finger. I mean, I don't give a damn if other people blame me for what happened when, when mum starts taking Frank's side. I don't want to talk about my dad. Well, what if we were, you know, Frank, big bloke, kills people. All right, all right. You're sick, you know that. If he knows what's good for him, he'll stay away from us. You threaten my dad, you threaten me. I don't be pathetic. Do you know what makes me sick about all this? Go and amaze me. You're more to blame than my dad is for what happened to Tiffany. What? Shut your mouth. Who was she fighting when she got run over, eh? You shoot your mouth off again, I'll leave him to it. So this is how unemployed old Bill spend their time, eh? Nothing worse than a bent copper. Come on, Joe. That's right, walk off. Come. The classic Italian military manoeuvre. Retreat. What's all this then? Thinking about taking a night class? Night class? I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. What? You're not trying to turn this place into a club? I didn't say that. Why? That fans the competition? No, nah, just, uh, don't want to see you waste your time, that's all. You're up early. I wanted to get away from the lovebirds, didn't I? It was round here earlier talking to me about families. Frightened me. <laughs> well, we better get used to it, haven't we? He's going on about bringing up Courtney. What a choice, your dad or Grant. He's a reformed character now, aren't he? Just because he stopped drinking and the rest. Didn't he tell you? We are now officially step Will you give my father a message from me? Tell him I won't be around for his drinks this afternoon. Oh, come on, bruv. I'm sorry, Tony, but I obviously don't find this as funny as you do. So I... Hello. What are you doing here? Your mum asked me to come in. It's a bit early, isn't it? Well, there's plenty to do. We're going to give the place a bit of a spring clean. Where is she? Upstairs. She's making me a cup of tea. She's in a good mood. That's why I'm here, to cheer people up. Well, I see I've got my work cut out with you, though. Haven't I? A portrait. Mum! Can you hear me? What's that? Since when do you take an interest in the sports pages? Talking to me now, are you? What's the matter with you? I was okay until you stormed out. I didn't storm out. I went round to see Phil. Now is he? He's fine. Well, I'm glad you two are getting on so well again. All I want is for you to be happy. Happiness is way down my list right now. I couldn't care less about anything apart from looking after Courtney. Couldn't care less about me, is that what you mean? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what I've done to deserve you. Why does everything have to be about you, eh? Because this has got nothing to do with you. This is about me and Tiffany and Courtney. Not you or Frank or Phil or anyone else. The woman that I love has just died. We were going to try for another baby. I mean, don't you ever think about that? How can you move to the Vic now? I mean it, Dad. Grant's out of control, Ricky. I can take care of myself. You just concentrate on keeping yourself out of mischief. This is different. He's gone psycho. <laughs> you might need some backup. And if I do, I know where to come, won't I? This is no joke, Dad. I know it's not a joke, son, and I appreciate your support. You're not taking me seriously, are you? Son, listen. Everything's going to be fine. Trust the old man. I'm sorry if I sounded selfish. Oh, come on, Mum. I know you're only thinking about me, but I just don't want to think about it. But that's what grieving is all about. Don't you ever give up. <sighs> but you can't get over it until you face it. It's been two weeks, love. Why don't you go and pick up Tiffany's ashes? So that's what this is all about? Or what? I knew you were plotting something. All I'm trying to do is to get you to help yourself. So don't you ever accuse me of being out for myself again. Do you understand? All right. I'm sorry, Mum. Hey. 
Hi. So you're spending Mark's birthday together. Does this mean what I think it means? Uh, look, Mary, how can I put this? Um, I really don't think it's got anything to do with you or anybody else. It, it's between me and Mark. What are you going to tell him? Tell him what? About the baby. <sighs> look, I know your heart's in the right place, I know it's but... up to you. It's just... Well, I'm seeing him tomorrow, aren't I? <laughs> Great. Yeah. I just thought... I'd just love to see the two of you get back together. I really think you could put everything behind you. See ya. See ya. Oh. Hello, Mum. Yeah. I no, I, I'm fine, honestly. Um, listen, I, I was wondering if it was okay if I, I came and stay, stayed for a while. No, not you worry. No, that's all right. Listen, I, I really need to go. Um, yeah, I'll phone you some other time, okay? I reckon she's giving you the eye. Which one? Which eye? Oh, which girl? Listen to him. Your glamorous assistant. Sorry for grabbing you like that. It's just I don't like walking into pubs on my own. It's all right. I think you've got an admirer. It's my boss. Handy. You see everyone that's looking over you. Maybe she likes you. Me? I doubt it. You probably have more of a chance with her than Lisa anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know me as. Well, not to me as. Lisa's in love. Did she say that? Well, she doesn't have to. Just look at her. You reckon? Dead cert. Some lucky blokes in 7th Heaven. Anyway, I'm sure you've got business to discuss. I'll see you later. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, mate. It's just a twin. Sure. Well, I'm sorry about the mess. No, no, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. What's wrong with him? He spilled his drink. No point in crying over it. You having lunch? No, just a drink. What should you figure? Well, somebody has to. <laughs> Say something then. Um, yeah, just a minute. I'll um, take the bar towel back. There you go, Peg. Hey. Oh, oh, how'd it go this morning? How did what go? With Grant. How was he? What? That's it? What, what have I got to know anything? I'm just your mother, after all. Where is he upstairs? Yeah. I'll go and have a word. Maybe some other time, eh? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. No, I do. Yeah, are right. No, no, I mean it. I think you're really great. You change your team. One minute giving her a hard time, the next she thinks she's wonderful. What you done? I've to do free overtime or something. <laughs> I, I just popped in to say I'll be working at the library all afternoon. Right. I don't know how you put up with him all day. See you later. I shouldn't have had a go at her. You're well up this morning. Not Ricky, you mean? Yeah. I was just trying to support you, but... Maybe she don't know that, eh? I think she's right. I should go and pick up the ashes, but... I suppose I just don't want to admit that it's all over. Well, it's up to you, mate, but I'll come with you if you like. What about the arches? Well, Ricky could look after him for the afternoon. Fed up with his moaning anyway. I'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, Nina. Is it true then? What? About Terry and Irene. What about them? Well, you live with them. If you don't know, no one does. Yes, Dot. It's true. If it's any of your business. Oh, you want to watch the Mitchells? I suppose you've heard about Grant. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I don't like gossip. You're talking to the wrong person. Dorothy was under 18 champion gossip of Walford. Oh, your ears been waggling again, have they? Ladies. Oh, don't mind us. Just a bit of friendly banter. We're going to share a flat together, you know. That'll be cosy. Well? Everything's fine. 
Listen, I'm going to finish early so I can take you out. Brilliant. You can come with me and Saskia. You what? I've arranged to meet her at Giuseppe's. What for? To discuss you, of course. We're having a drink, that's all. Whose idea was that? Lighten up. Come with us. No. No, I don't think so. Well, I thought you were having the night off. Yeah, and well, I thought I was taking you out. I guess I'll just have to have the night in. <laughs> you don't seem the type to have a quiet night in on your own. Well, if you'd rather go out with Saskia than me, then that's up to you, isn't it? Mm. You're right. What? You're miles away. Yeah. Did you make it up with your mum? I hope you don't think I'm rude. I overheard you earlier. Yeah, well, you better get used to it if you're going to carry on working here. Probably because you're so alike. Could be. Look, I'm going out for a bit. Then you can cope. Of course. Yeah, if Mama set it off, but, um, I'm going to get Tiffany's ashes. No problem. Thanks. I, listen, you haven't seen Simon or Tony, have you? Sorry. Have you heard the news? Well, Mum and Terry haven't turned up, have they? Yep. Well, where are they? Where do they go? Are they all right? Alive, well, and married. How are you? So, I hear you're going out with Melanie tonight. I can't help it if your girlfriend's taking a shine to me. Oh, like you didn't have anything to do with it, right? She just seems like the sort of person I'd like to be friends with, that's all. And where do you think this is going to get you? I honestly don't know what you mean. Oh, dear. Something wrong, Doc. You will be all right on your own, won't you? Because I'm worried you won't be able to cope. We'll manage, Doc. Yeah, well, it only if we're miles away, only round the corner. I mean, only if we ain't going to see one another, is it? Uh, yeah. I wondered where you've got to. I'm just having a quiet word with Jeff. Can I join you? Yeah, feel oh. free, then. I wanted to talk about colours. What are you on about? Decoration, Dorothy. I was thinking pale yellow for the living room. I ain't going to have magnolia. I didn't say magnolia, did I? Pale yellow. Very classy. Melanie used to have a bedroom mustard back home. Mm. Oh, mustard. Mm. Very passe. Oh, I say passe. Oh, Dorothy, if we left it up to you, we'd be putting wood chip up. <laughs> Very hard wearing wood chip. Oh, what's the point? If you're not going to try. Look, there's no point in arguing about it, is there? Sorry. I thought this might be useful. I couldn't help overhearing. Oh, oh, thanks very much. Okay. Right. Now, why don't you two go over to the flat, take the magazine with you, get a few ideas, and then bring it back later. Okay? Well, come on, then. You were brilliant. You should be a diplomat. Oh, thanks. I'm Saskia. Oh, Jeff. Jeff Ely. Can I join you? Yeah, sure. Do what you think is right, Michael. I'm not expecting anything. All of a sudden, you're so cool. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't rush into anything on the strength of what may turn out to be a crush. A crush? This isn't just a crush. I've got to make a decision. Just don't do anything on my behalf. But, but I thought... Look, if things ain't working out between you and Susan, don't use us as an excuse. Thank you. Aha, <sighs> just the man. Everything all right? I'm around. Yeah, upstairs. She wanted you to go straight up when you got back. Right. And there's a barrel that needs changing. Okay. A bottle of your finest champagne, please, landlord. I'll get it. Sorry. Of course, I'm still on the wagon, but now it's not the only thing that I'm hitched to, if you know what I mean. We're having our little family get-together, an announcement. I'd like my niece and granddaughter to be there, if you can spare them. You haven't seen Sarah yet, then? No. Everyone already knows about the wedding. Well, how does Sarah know? I told her. She went mental, and then she's gone off looking for Auntie Irene. 
I won't be needing that then. So, are you going to go around and see him? No point if there's going to be a row. Must be out of his mind if he thinks I'm going to let Courtney go around there. Right, I'm going to change the barrel. Aren't you going to let Peggy know you got back? Just keep an eye on the bar. Right. Something to tell me? All in good time. Is everybody here? Oh, Simon's not coming. It's a disgrace. What are you on about? You and Terry going off like that without telling anyone. It's impulsive. He surprised me. Oh, well, like he surprised you when you found out he was already married. You know, it's just like you to sleep behind everyone's backs like that. Mum, didn't you think we'd be worried? We didn't know where you'd been all weekend. I told you it was a surprise. Yeah? Well, I wish for once in your lives you'd think about other people. I am still responsible for my own happiness as well as yours. I thought you'd be pleased for me. I've had just about enough of you picking on Terry. Did somebody mention my name? Nanny. You coming with us? What would I want to do that for, eh? Well, if everything's going so well between the two of you, what have you got to be afraid of? What could I tell her that could be so bad? I met her dad in the cafe this afternoon after you left. He did what? Mm. It uh, appears that he doesn't really approve of you. You're sad, you know that? Eh? You ain't got a life of your own, so you have to try and take over mine. First my girlfriend, now her dad. You're meant to be my friend. Yeah, well, not for very much longer if you keep this up. Look, um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean to hurt you, OK? You don't care about me. You just care whether I cause a scene with Melanie. That's not true. Of course it is. I just want you to be happy. Why can't you want the same for me? Now, if you'd please leave, because I wanted to go out. Saskia, wait. Why can't we just be friends? been stood up. What can I say? There's some stupid blokes about. It wasn't a bloke. Well, look, I'm going over to Vic if you fancy it. It's a bit cheap and cheerful in there, but the company's not bad. Yeah, why not? <gasps> when did you get back? A couple of hours ago. Well? It's done. Taken care of. Peggy upstairs? Yep. Do a survivor donor on parch. Could you uh, give us a large scotch uh, before I lug my cases upstairs? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm proud of you. We all loved her, you know. You can share it with me, Grant. You don't have to keep it all locked up. I've seen tougher men than you cry, believe me. Yeah, and you probably drove them to it. Maybe I did. I'm sorry I was so tough on you. I only ever want what's best for you. You know that. Yeah. Well, if that's it, I'd better get back downstairs. Grant, why don't you take the night off? Go out with Phil. It doesn't matter about the pub. You've got to try and get over Tiff. I did what you wanted. I've gone and collected the ashes. It wasn't for me. Yeah, well, no one likes to admit that they're wrong, do they? That was absolutely delightful, just what the doctor ordered. It was a fag and a whiskey. It certainly was, my darling, but you see, I am a man of simple tastes. Will you excuse me? My fiance awaits. Right. <laughs> what do you think I was going to do? Say I told you so. You were strong today. That's what you've got to keep doing. Grant, 
Look at me. I'm right, and I? Peggy! All that talk in you. You've got to mention that he was moving in. You even wanted me to go out with Phil so you could sneak him in behind my back. What was it? I only want what's best for you. What a joke. The Just get the... out, Frank. All we're trying to say is, now you've got over the last hurdle, we can get on with our lives. All we were trying to say, well, you, you worked this out together, did you? We are together, Grant. That's the way your mum wants it. Peggy? Well, Mum? Maybe we should leave it for a while, Frank. I'm sorry. Yeah. So will Grant give in to Terry and Simon and Mary pressurises Ruth to tell her the truth but gets an unexpected answer. Classic EastEnders continues next here on Drama.